All right. Well, first of all, I told you, everybody participated nicely. Even, see, adults are a lot like kids. We, we're a little shy. We don't want to go do that. But we actually have fun doing that. And see, we all got to get up and get moving. Woke everybody back up. Now, I, I say that to say, I, I do, I do um, have some questions for you. So when you went up to people, and hopefully you introduced them with your correct name, and not mine. Uh, I think we, we got that. What, when you went up to somebody saying they look sophisticated, or they look like they're happily married, or they look like they love music, would anybody like to tell me why you went up to that person? I mean, what was your gut reason for going up to that person making the assumption? They were convenient. They were convenient. Fair. <laughs> Fair enough. And in these tables, I'll give you that. That, make, that makes sense. And, and at even a deeper level, if you can move a little bit more, if you were walking up to somebody and said, you know, why might you go up to somebody and say they look like they love outdoor activities? Parents. Was, in some of these cases, when you went up to somebody, was your hypothesis true? Or was it a little off from what you expected? Of what you thought your person was going to be like, if you didn't know? Pretty close? Okay. In some cases, was it different? So, pretty accurate? Now, why, why do you think that is? Just because you saw how somebody looks, how they dress, how they... And say that again? Open and engage your question. Good. Okay. Good. Yeah. I was well, I was asked two times if I liked outdoor activities, so I think it had to do with my shirt. Yeah. I'm short and Italian, which usually doesn't add up. <laughs> <laughs> he was asked two times for outdoor activities. So uh, okay. All right. Well, and that's true. People's dress uh, generally, you know, if, if I'm doing these things, people in the, if it's a smaller group will come up and say, "You look like you're sophisticated." Not simply because I'm wearing a tie. But I'm going to see me most of the week, man. You know, I, I like casual. So it's all, it's all for appearance. So thank you for doing that. And there's a reason. I want to show you something. Um, OK. We're going to say it, because I want you to get this through your head. Everybody. Perception is reality. Again, perception is reality. All right, you guys chime in. Perception is reality. One more time. Perception is reality. All right, now watch this. Take your pen above your head. And here's what I want you to do. And I'm going to give you another joke. You'll find funny. But when, when, <laughs> this is the other thing my wife discovered when she went with me on speak one time. When I do this, you're not watching me. And secondly, you have to know which way clockwise is. And this didn't work for a group because they're like, what's clockwise? And I'm like, that group didn't win a lot of points. When they used my name and clockwise, I didn't know. I, I didn't know they had a lot of hope. All right, so what you're going to do is you are going to be pointing, not at me, not shooting a gun. You're going to be pointing your pen up and just follow my, auto, my auditory direction. So turn your pen clockwise over your head and just watch it. And then slowly bring it down. It should still be going clockwise. Keep pointing straight at the ceiling, turning clockwise. Keep turning it and pointing it at the ceiling. It should be about eye level, still pointing at the ceiling. Now you're going to slowly start bringing it down. It should still be pointing at the ceiling, but your eyes are now going to be looking down to your pen. Your pen should still be pointing at the ceiling. You should now be looking down at your pen, and which way does your pen look to be going? Hmm, but did it change? Did you change the direction of your pen? No. Perception is... What changed with the pen? Your orientation. And that's what I want you to get through. This is the thing, the video I was going to play about, it was from the Super Bowl a couple years ago, it was Detroit and Eminem and showing that Detroit and America's back and we're building cars again. I couldn't get the video to play properly. But that video was awesome because it's saying, you know what, America still has a lot to be proud of and we can make cars. And that's the same thing with this industry. So we just simply want to change the orientation. We're not trying to do any tricks, any gimmicks, any magic tricks, none of that. What we're simply trying to do is if we want to answer, so what, why you, who cares, we want people to see us in the light that we want to be seen. In the, in the printing, in the mailing, in the bindery business, unfortunately, a lot of people look at it, even if it's a very progressive company, and say, that's an old industry. The automobile industry is an old industry. They, it may or may not be true. The facts are based upon whatever they, they happen to believe. So that perception is reality equals your brand, and remember the visual of the pen. Your pen never changed. What changed was your orientation. And that's what we want to do with our clients. Everybody follow that? Questions? 